Hey there again everybody, this is Mike Kim. Welcome back to my Diablo 3 channel. And as I per mentioned uh, in my previous video, I was working on the Witch Doctor. I was playing in the beta and I got my Witch Doctor up to about level 10 when the servers went down. They are having some issues as uh, patch 13 went live. And I decided to create a few uh, cult skill, cult skill builds uh, specific for the Witch Doctor because I might be playing the class, uh, I'm not sure. Two of my friends have already confirmed that uh, a husband and wife, uh, one is going to be playing a barbarian and the other is going to be playing a wizard. So in this case, uh, if I'm going to be playing with them very often, especially if you're grouping up, uh, a witch doctor works for me. Uh, it's either this or a monk or a demon hunter. Hopefully it'll be a different class so that we don't, uh, how do you say, uh, we don't have to fight for loot, uh, especially since uh, the different when you go into a, a party and when you clear instances, uh, dungeons together, when you go through dungeon crawls and stuff like that, uh, we'll have drops for each other sometimes and not always will it be for your class. So if anything specific drops that will be good for me or good for them, I'll be able to pass it to them and no problems there. So anyway, uh, I want to go through uh, some of the skills. I believe that the Witch Doctor has the most healing spells uh, in the game right now. This does not mean that they are a support class, it just means that they have the option to group up and provide healing to their party members, either in PvP or in group PvE, that will be the situation most of the time. Now, this also means that they will be a very needed class, and this also means that it will be very popular, or at least among PvP and groups in general. So, like the solo PvE build, I went with Fire Bats as my spammable ability, uh, if you'll see over here, I picked up the Indigo, Hungry Bats, rapidly summon bats to seek out nearby targets for 273% weapon damage per second as fire. Uh, I'm not sure if this works like homing missiles, but right now in the game itself, when fire bats is used uh, without this runestone, this skill rune, they uh, come out as a cone in front of you. Uh, and it, it looks kind of like you're breathing fire because they're fire bats. Uh, you'll, you'll see the bats animation, but pretty much that's how it looks like. So I'm not sure how this uh, skill rune changes it. If you haven't watched my previous video on uh, how Blizzard has changed a few things with the runes, uh, this skill calculator is a bit outdated because the patch 13 only hit about uh, one or two days, nearly two days ago. So there are a few things that needs changing. Even I cannot keep track on all of them because uh, there's quite a few rune skills. There are, are five rune skills for each uh, active and passive skill within, within each class itself. Okay, So that's quite a few to go through. But anyway, since we're covering the Witch Doctor, I'll just go through a few of them with you. I picked up Fire Bats. Uh, I'm hoping they work like homing missiles. That means I can move and cast them all the time. Uh, poison Dart, which is supposed to replenish my mana, uh, they, are, they use uh, mana as a resource, so you'll in a group especially, you'll never want to run out of mana, or you want something to cast when you are low on mana. I picked up Hex here, which is supposed to turn enemies into chickens, uh, and in addition to that, if you t pick up the Golden Rune Stone, it will actually heal friendly targets for 8,304 life. This is at a level 4 skill rune. Okay, and it may not be accurate, it may have changed, and I will probably have to go in-game to show you exactly what has changed about it. But the problem is the servers are down, so I'll probably have to do that another time. But this is what I picked up, basically a healing ability on a Hex. Summons a Fetish Shaman for 8 seconds. On a 10 second cooldown, that means you'll have an 80% uptime on this. 80% uh, uptime means 80% uh, of the time that you spend you'll be able to have it uh, on you, uh, available, or buffing you. So, okay, and I picked up Locust Swarm, which also allows me to cast and then move, summon a plague of locusts to assault enemies dealing 180% weapon damage as poison over 3 seconds, and it bounces to additional targets. So if it works the same as uh, the other game that Blizzard launched, uh, there was a skill similar to this. Um, you cast it on a on a enemy target and it will bounce to others afterwards. Uh, this also is to gain 106 mana. So as you can see, this witch doctor is very specific in his role, and this is what I chose. And once again, if you feel your group isn't doing enough damage, you can swap things out. That sort of thing. 
if you'll notice in my uh, solo PVE Witch Doctor build, I actually went more with the pets, but on this time, I went more towards uh, support and uh, to carry, uh, to be a pillar of support for the rest of my team. Here you see I picked up Spirit Walk, uh, enter the Spirit Realm for two seconds. While in the Spirit Realm, your movement is unhindered. That means you break all sorts of uh, slows and stuff like that. This might be very useful in PvP specifically. Uh, your link to the Spirit Realm will end if your physical body takes 50% uh, of your total HP. Uh, what this does is gain 11% of your maximum mana. You can tell from what I've been taking that uh, I'm very worried about mana, but this is because uh, of my passive skills, which I'll go over in a bit. And I picked up Big Bad Voodoo, increases attack speed and movement speed of all allies in the area by 15%. In addition, it heals allies for 4% four 4.5% of their maximum life per second. So this is a very supportive build. Here is the reason why I picked up so many mana uh, mana giving abilities or mana giving skills is simply because I picked up Pierce the Veil which unlocks at level 20 which is quite early you can probably hit level 20 in a day easily so all of your damage is increased by 20% but your mana costs are increased by 30% so this is why if you're spamming fire bats you see I picked up vermin here I actually mentioned in my previous video that if you didn't want to take the increased HP to your pets, this is the other option. Your Plague of Toads, Corpse Spiders, Locust Swarm, Fire Bats deal 20% more damage. I have Locust Swarm and Fire Bats in my build, so this is highly considered. And once again, Blood Ritual, 15% of your mana costs are paid with life. In addition, you regenerate 2% of your maximum life per second. Now, I've mentioned before, when you're making a build, you should always consider what role you're going to play in your group, especially if it's an organized group. Uh, you're among a bunch of friends. Uh, like I mentioned for Barbarian builds, if you wanted to be a damage soaker and stunner or utility build, there are certain shouts that you should consider instead of uh, just damage abilities. But in this case, I took a support role, but that doesn't mean support just support. You actually have to do damage as well. The reason for this is because in Diablo 3, uh, especially because it was like this in Diablo 2, if you couldn't kill enemies quick enough, uh, what would happen is that you would take so much damage that you wouldn't be able to outlast enemies because enemies in general, the NPCs, they would have more HP than you and they would deal a lot of damage if you couldn't handle it, especially if your gear was not up to par. So you would actually have to kill them quick enough so that you, do, you will be able to survive in a dungeon. And if you can't kill them fast enough, you get surrounded and you will pretty much die because your pot is, unlike Diablo 2, your potion is going to be on a 30 second cooldown. You won't be able to uh, scroll off town portal or town portal away because there's a cast time on it and you get interrupted if enemies hit you. So once again, if you find that you are not fulfilling your role very well, uh, because there isn't enough damage spreading around, you can always opt to remove one of the heals or one of the mana replenishers, especially if you have too much mana or you find your mana globe is full all the time because you want to be make sure, uh, making sure that your resources are being spent properly. Alright, that's about it for the Witch Doctors group PvE build. This is what I'm going to be running, especially when I'm with a group, group of friends that know what they're doing. Uh, and good night. See you in my next video.